So let's dive into this white noise and Ohio, East Palestine thing. It's, there's so many metaphors, and this movie just goes deeper than the uh, East Palestine thing, to be honest. So this concept of uh, secular optimism stuck out to be first because that's basically being godless and like not believing in God in the afterlife, pretty much. And then they go on to talk about maybe there's no death. This This whole movie was big on death and fear and the afterlife and the astral realm even. You know what I'm saying? And then the teacher talks about the plots and how there's all different type of plots, but these narrative plots that the media spins and uses uses in these movies is becoming evident every day. They're getting bolder and bolder. And the movie even explains this when you watch it. So now we get into the numbers. It's heavy nines and sixes, right? The five and the four was a nine and a six. A lot of six energy. So we go to them talking about secrets and how the mother has books on the occult in the attic, right? So she studied up heavy on the occult. And now the um the main character was the teacher who was obsessed with Hitler is giving a spiel on Hitler. And you see the train popped up in death. The words are so poetic. Like if you like watch this and then really soak in the words and the timing of the words with the scenery and the visuals, you're like, damn, this shit crazy. Ski mask, we know why the mask is important. And people waste a lot of emotion handling the mask and doing things and scared of what might happen if they didn't wear the mask. Then she's giving a rundown on a whole bunch of metaphysical shit to these people. And this Simvac shit is crazy. Like, the father touched on earlier a few scenes ago how when this shit happens, it it happens to the poor people, right? But this is like a culture shock to him because it's happening to him and it's real. And this dude is telling them the, they're a company that practices simulations of events, but they're the ones that's handling it. So it's confusing to the old boy. He's like, damn, if this shit's real, why the fuck are y'all running it like a simulation, right? So, but the dude is using double speaking and confusing them. Like, this is real, though. Like, so they're basically saying we're in a simulation and anything they do to try to help us is really just a simulation to figure out what they could do later on down the line to fuck us up. You know what I'm saying? In the process of fucking us up. Like, they really not here to help. And this gets deep about the death, more on death. Don Cheadle's character is, like, so big on death. And they're trying to figure out how not to die. And this this touches a lot on transhumanism, like, and people living forever or uploading your consciousness. Gun control is mind control. And right here was one eleven forty four. And do they think this is television? Don't they know it's real? I thought it was like crazy that that was the timestamp for those specific words, right? Because this shit is real. There's more nines if you add them up. Let me do some numerology. When they're talking about the stores, just waving radiations and the numbers are here, all the colors of the spectrum, more, more symbols and sigils. They're just explaining how everything is symbols and sigils and you have to decipher it to make it in this world. Autumn Harvest Farms, that's crazy. Dilar. And the etymology of it is crazy. So, die is the tremble or shake and fear in Germanic, which is the sigils we use. And lar is ancestral deity or spirit. So, so it's a good play on words to show what this medicine and what these pills do to us in real it's life. Normal, the whole movie. No, nah, this shit is like the fucking devil poetry. In riddles. Yes. But it sounds like poetry, so we don't notice. But how I was just telling you before how the husband is playing the character of, like, being in denial and not to worry. And he's telling her, don't be in gloom and despair, right? He's right, kind of. Because? You don't want to give in to the fear. You just want to act. Well, yeah. 
But that nigga was in denial because he was late to react. He's just trying to like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. Like, I'm fucking dying. He's trying to be That's that sleep. I think. That's... But that what he just said, like, if you want to go levels, what he just said was also some what's it, manosphere shit. Like, the point of you is joy in my life, bitch. Like, mm. become joyous again. But really, he's trying to encourage her. Like, don't let this, you know, over... You know, coming like there's levels to this shit. I just don't be looking at the human levels because I'm like, okay, I be looking at the fucking spirit levels because this shit is evil. Yeah, and then I try to look at the government conspiracy level. I look at that too. It's mm-hmm. all that is all the spiritual level, spiritual warfare by the government. Yeah. But who's talking normal? The woman in the mirror. But who is her character? The wife, Joe. I don't know, bad, bad. Her, but she's the woke one. She's she's the one that studied and said. No, he studied too, though. The occult. He right. wasn't hip to all that occult shit. Mm-hmm. She studied in the occult. She said she been researching, being prepared, and getting prepared, and all that shit. She's so she's not herself. in fear. She said, "I'm trying to reduce this shit down to the minimal." I don't right. know, man. I think she's trying to heal. She said she has a condition, so she takes the medication. So that, she's trying to reduce it to a simplest form but that might be a medical or mental or whatever condition to the point of us trying to figure out if this is a bad spell or a good spell i just think this is a powerful spell in general though because it is they giving you game too on how to fight this shit and reverse it yeah i mean they're giving you truth they give you everything. All the truth. Hence the name white noise. Remember when I said white noise is everything. all the frequencies? Mm-hmm. So they're trying to touch on all the frequencies. They're can, they can tell total truth because you think it's a movie. You don't understand because you're fucking retarded. You don't know this shit. So they can say whatever they want. They can f- tell the full fucking truth. They can even tell you that we're going to derail a train in Ohio. And kill y'all with the chemicals. And it's going to become an airborne threat. An airborne toxic threat. So, like, how much are gas masks? Because I'm saying, though. Mm. They sell them at the flea market in Painesville. Well, they used to. Yeah, we right in the thick of this shit. You're going to poison the water and the air? You see what the fuck? Mr. Gray is a composite. What word composite mean? Composite is, uh... Like combining literally. a bunch of stuff to make a something to make a picture. <laughs> you like you was getting G'd? kid yeah, because a composite is a bunch of various things put together. So is that the new world order? Now this is referencing the jab. And the experimental shit that they've been doing with our body. Because she willingly went and did that shit. Even though it fucked her situation up. And she had to compromise who she was as a person and do all that shit. She literally had to wear a fucking mask. Mm. Nigga. Oh shit, I didn't think about that. Oh, that's why they kept saying, where's my mask? But I'm no, I'm saying See, like I was this a whole is different level. this is telling the story totally. of the jab. Yeah, yeah, don't say that. You can say it with us, babe. Uh, no, but I'm recording it though. <laughs> right now? Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> so, um, that's fucked up. We can't even say that shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Voldemort. <clears throat> oh, that's what we'll call he it. Who Voldemort. Shall not, ooh, yeah, yeah, Voldemort. So it's like getting Voldemort. And um, but they're flipping it with the whole Mr. Gray and sex. That's why I said, is Mr. Gray the one? Why are they calling a person a composite? You know what I'm saying? Because they are choosing their wording correctly in this bitch, right? So what the gray concept is, one, to be all, because right now we're on a black and white chessboard. But the end game is to get into the like intergalactic federation and be all up there with them and they ain't the grays ain't gonna let us do that until we all androgynous and we're all one person aka gray who said the grays so, will allow us or not the grays are not our creators they're they not they it, that's the problem the niggas who in control and is running shit fucking with the grays but the grays ain't no the grays ain't no motherfucking source or no god that's just another fucking entity but they evil they got nefarious plans and shit 
They want they everybody. They want transhumanism. A gray is a transhuman. That's what a gray is. It's one thing. I mean, I, isn't that just androgynous? It, it's just it's androgynous, it's just, but we're all not androgynous they, people. I don't even think they we're have humans. Penises or vaginas. That's my point. They're trying to get us to that. That's not a transhuman. That's just a non. A transhuman is going. It for us, it would be a transhuman. I think they probably started off humanoid though, so yes. that's why I'm calling them transhumans. So, yes, I mean that could definitely be how we evolve because. We're always on our phone, so our eyes need to be bigger so that they don't go bad. We're always overthinking, so our head and our brain will get bigger. But we're we're destroying the ozone layer, so of course more heat is going to enter the earth. So we're going to need to be hairless. We're going to need less heat. And then we're fucking with, we're having gene therapy to our reproductive systems. And the Voldemort apparently is going to re-affect those. So... We may be going towards infertility, like the Handmaid's Tale said. Yep. And Elon Musk said. Because I think the grays are, like, bad. Those are, like, the archonic-ass deities. But you can't say anything is all bad because some could be good fuck and some could be Fuck them grays, bad. nigga. But I also feel fuck like them, fuck them grays. Fuck them draconians. Fuck them grays. I don't know about the draconians. Fuck all them niggas except for, like, the Syrians and shit like that. I don't... I've never... I, you know... I don't know why I feel like this, but just in my spirit does feel like fucked in grace. Yeah. It's just my, I've always felt I had that intuitive spirit, but. We do have some good entities that want to help us, like the fucking, uh, the grays, the tall, I mean, not the grays, the tall whites, those are helpful. The fuck are the tall whites? The tall whites are like the, I ain't um, never heard no shit like that in my life. Those would be like the Pleiadians. The Pleiadians? Yeah. I imagine the Pleiadians look like elves. Yeah, that's literally, that's what the they probably, because those are more, when they came down, they went to Nordic peoples and shit like that. Bro, do you have proof of this? Yes. I want to see it, because mm. I ain't never heard this nowhere. Look into my mind. <laughs> <laughs> you sure? Yes. You sure you ready for that? Are you sure? <laughs> it's one eleven right now. Make a wish. You see why they got these people and all these experiments going on it's all about fear damn that's the theme of her having to get experimented on and um get penetrated a by uh mr gray aka get the voldemort all because of fear and they didn't want to die <laughs> Yeah, that's a lot of death in here. So, dude, he did a whole fucking musical dance about it earlier. Mm-hmm. She looking at them like, what is wrong with these people? The black woman. Yeah. I mean, but there's even black men in the crowd talking about this, so. But he a coon-ass nigga. There's two of them. Two coon ass niggas. In this movie, so I'm like, what That's what I'm saying. I, I think this movie isn't a bad. How, what I was talking about earlier about how some producers and writers are this? talented enough she to. just ripped a piece of her skin off her face. Mm hmm. That's gross. Sorry, you shocked me. No, you cut me off. I'm sorry. they talented enough to put these messages in their own hidden ways and into the stories and shit and weave them in. They tell the mass They just fucking said the power of suggestion makes some people ins- sick or some people well. They played on the radio. Your palms and stuff will start to get sweaty and then people's palms and shit started to get sweaty just simply off being suggested that that would happen and the fear overtaking them. So even this is real it, shit. And us hearing it on a movie makes it entered into our That's brain. what you said earlier. You said this shit is evil because they putting this fear into you. So he's looking at a newspaper the with the Ghostbusters on there. Look at all the the Death Star. And then it had Bigfoot the on there. Flag? Yeah. Reebok. 
rid the fear. So, Mr. Great is trying to help. Because he don't want everybody to be scared. But his help is no, is a disguise. To get into the room. Yeah, but I'm saying the pills are to get rid of fear. So that's the concept of the whole Voldemort. Because they got people scared with the toxins and all the death shit from passing the Voldemort to each other. So here comes the jab to save you. Mr. Gray is the jab. Why are you here, white man? Because I am dying. He's like, you are very white. Because I'm dying. So they're dying out. Why is he giving them different diets right now? Because he's saying you don't need this. You just have a diet to heal to yourself. To heal yourself, literally. You don't need these drugs. Yeah, you like just the follow a good work. diet. Yeah, they, are giving, like what? they are giving... They are giving the game in this bitch. They telling the truth. Ooh, shit. I just want to know why the fuck he was just shitting. <laughs> like, it, but listen, listen, listen. Shitting is getting he all your shit out. He was telling the truth. He was releasing. This movie is fucking deep, you man. Shit and his white ass killed him. Because he, the fucking, this is the sleep, the father represents the sleep ass motherfucker that just want to act like shit is normal. But he care about his wife and shit. <laughs> that was funny. They both got the shot. Better killers. So the church don't even acknowledge God, but their whole game is to but people trick the people. Want, the, but the people want to be tricked. The people want to be tricked. So I can have a better feeling about my shitty self. They follow the real laws of the universe and give people religion, so they're restricted. <laughs> 